let us uh, see the properties of relations first property is a reflexive relation what do you mean by reflexive relation a relation r on a set a is said to be reflexive if every element is related with itself every element is related with itself that means suppose you have a set a we define a relation between a to a itself a relation r on a set a that means a relation r is defined from a to a itself suppose you have the elements 1 5 7 and 8 the same elements will be taken here 1 5 7 8 so this relation r is said to be reflexive if a is related with a itself sorry that is uh, 1 is related with 1 5 is related with 5 7 is related with 7 only and 8 will be related with 8 8 will be related to 8 so that is a is related to a belongs to r that means this relation belongs to the relation r for all a belonging to capital A so this is the reflexive relation definition what do you mean by irreflexive a relation R on a set A is said to be irreflexive if A is not related to A. That means A comma A does not belong to R. That means A is not related with A. For any element A belonging to A. That means no element is related with itself. No element is related with itself that means for any element a belonging to a a is not related to a that is the relation r is said to be reflexive if no element of a is related to itself by r now what do you mean by symmetric let us see symmetric relation a relation r on a set is said to be symmetric if b comma a b is related to a belongs to r whenever a is related to b belongs to r for all a comma b belong to a that means in a relation r whenever you have 1 comma 5 whenever you have 1 comma 5 this relation also contains 5 comma 1 that means whenever a comma b belongs to whenever a comma b belongs to r then b comma a will also belong to r b comma a will also be there for every for all a comma b belonging to a that means when you write one more element say 2 comma 3 is in R, obviously you can say 3 comma 2 will also be in R. Such a relation is called symmetric relation. So here we have a symmetric uh, relation, asymmetric relation. A relation R is said to be asymmetric or uh, not symmetric if there exists a pair A comma B such that A comma B belongs to R but B A is not there in R. That means you can find at least one pair. You can find at least one pair A comma B which belongs to R but b comma a is not there in r for example suppose your relation is uh, 1 comma 2 is there 3 comma 4 is there Point 4 comma 3 is also there 
but we have one comma two. We don't have two comma one. We don't have two comma one here. Even though we have three comma four and four comma three, we can find a relation. One is related to R. Sorry, one is related to two, but two is not related with one here. We don't have any two comma one. So such a relation is called a asymmetric relation. Anti-symmetric relation. A relation R on a set A is said to be anti-symmetric if, whenever A comma B belongs to R, then and uh, see here if you have both possibilities, A comma B belongs to R and B comma A also belongs to R, will imply A will be equal to B. That means there exist no two distinct elements no two distinct elements such that two is related with three and three is uh, related to two there exist no such elements in anti symmetric that's what they say whenever a comma b belongs to r and uh, b comma a belongs to r both will be same it will be like uh, two comma two will be there two comma a is equal to b or 3 comma 3 will be there or only 3 comma 2 will be there no problem or only 3 comma 2 will be there that means 2 comma 3 will not be there will not be there so such a relation such a relation is a anti-symmetric relation Let us see what is the transitive relation. A relation R on a set A is said to be transitive if whenever A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, then the transitive relation says A comma C, A comma C will also be in R. This will happen. Whenever these two happen, whenever these two, A is related to B and B is related to C, then A will be related to C. That means, whenever A is related to B and B is related to C, then A will be related to C. A will be related to so this is what A is related to B means A comma B belongs to R. B is related to C means B comma C belongs to R. Whenever these two happens, then this transitive property says A comma C, A to C will also be there in the relation R. Here, note, R is not transitive if, we say, R is not transitive if there exists A, B, C belongs to A such that A is related to B, A comma B belongs to R and B is related to C, that is B comma C belongs to R, but A is not related to C. That means A comma C does not belong to R. If there exist such a such numbers A, B, C, if there exist such numbers for which this happens, that means A comma B belongs to R, B comma C also belongs to R, but A comma C is not there in R. Such a relation is a is called transitive 
not transitive such a relation is called a not transitive relation for example you can take r is equal to 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 2 comma 4 and 5 comma 6 6 comma 7 now here 2 is related to 3 fine 3 is related to 4 ok and also 2 is related to 4 see we can find a relation between 2 to 4 ok this part is ok this part is ok but here there exists 5 6 7 there exists 5 6 7 such that 5 is related to 6 6 is related to 7 but 5 is not related to 7 5 is not related see we don't have any 5 comma 7 we don't have 5 comma 7 here we don't have so therefore this uh, relation is not transitive not transitive Let us see what is the equivalence relations. Equivalence relations. A relation R on a set A is said to be an equivalence relation on A. That means a relation R on a set A. We are defining and we say it is an equivalence relation if R is reflexive, this R must satisfy reflexive. Second condition is this R must be symmetric also and R must be transitive also. Reflexive, symmetric, transitive. A relation which satisfies all these three conditions is called as equivalence relation. Now let us uh, take one example. Let S be the set of all non-zero integers and the set A is defined as the Cartesian product between S with itself, S cross S is A on A. Define the relation R by this pair is related to this ordered pair we are defining a relation on s cross s that means uh, here we are defining define the relation r by a comma b uh, is related to c comma d if i know leave ad is equal to bc that means we are defining a relation on S yes, cross S. Yes. We will take one more S yes, cross S. Yes. That means this is your A. This is your A. What type of elements will be there in the Cartesian product? It will be like uh, A comma B, C comma D, E comma F, G comma H. Such elements will be there in the Cartesian product S yes, cross S. Yes. Now let us take the elements A comma B, the same elements here because it is also S yes, cross S, yes. E comma F, G comma H. Now what they say? An element A comma B, an element, this is an element now, this is not a relation, this is an element which belongs to the Cartesian product. S yes, cross S. Yes. They say this element is related to this element A B A comma B is related with C comma D. If I know leave 
A, B, C, D satisfies this condition. Satisfies this condition. Whichever four numbers A, B, C, D satisfies A into D, A into D is equal to B into C, then we say, then we can say A, B is related to C, D. Then we say A, B, A comma B is related to C comma D. C comma That means uh, here, whenever A, D is same as B, C, A, B is related to C, D. A, B is related with C, D. So this is a relation defined here. And we need to prove such a relation, such a relation is an equivalence relation. Such a relation is an equivalence relation. start with our solution given a is equal to s cross s given a is equal to s cross s which is nothing but a set of all uh, ordered pairs the Cartesian product is defined like this only set of all uh, ordered pairs x comma y such that x comma y belongs to S. So this is uh, the definition of S cross S. This is the set S cross S which is nothing but A. What they say? They say A comma B is related with C comma D. If I know least, this happens. They have given, we have taken. Now to prove R is reflexive. We need to prove R is Reflexive. Reflexive means what? We need to prove every element, every element is uh, related with itself, the same element. Every element is related with the same element. A comma B is related with A comma B only we need to prove this. Now let us take this. Here we have taken A comma A related to A comma A. We can take uh, this also. A comma B related to a comma b also because you can observe here a d a d here you can say a b see a to d a into d we have taken see a into d so here we have taken a to b a b and here b c where is b c b to B to C is here, B, A, B into A. Obviously, we know that any non-zero integers, any non-zero integers commutes, any non-zero integers commutes, that is, A, B is same as B, A. This happens, this happens. So therefore, we can say, yes, A, B is related with itself, right? So therefore, R is reflexive. We can say, because of this reason, it happens. Since thus. To prove R is symmetric. How do we prove R is symmetric? That means that whenever uh, an element is related to other element, C comma D, whenever this element is related to the other element, then we need to prove this implies this element is related to A comma B. That means C comma D will be related with A comma B. So this is what we need to prove. 
and let us uh, prove it is symmetric. Yeah, let us suppose a comma b related to c comma d. Now what it implies in the given question what they say whenever a b is related to c d then we have a d is equal to b c. a d is equal to b c. So this implies a d is equal to b c. Yes. Now let us uh, write this as d a. We will write this as d a. Let us write this as d a and write this as c b. Let us write this as c b and we take this to the other side and we take this to the other side. Right? Now how it looks like? Let us uh, observe. We are going back now. c b is same as d a. c b is same as d a. Now what happens here? How we wrote first element here then last element here. We multiplied. Right? Then you, when you expand, when you expand, let us write on this or related to this, right? When you expand, this will be the first element here, right? This will be the first element here and this will be the last element here. Then only it happens C into B, C into B. Then how we wrote is this BC, second element from this pair and first element here. Okay, so first element will be second element in this pair. So this element is here D and this element will be here A comma. So what have we arrived at? Whenever A comma B is related to C comma D, we proved C comma D is related to A comma B. It commutes. We have proved this. Therefore, what happens here? This will happen. Now we can conclude that R is symmetric. Therefore, R is symmetric. Now let us prove R is uh, transitive. How do we prove R is transitive? Suppose A comma B is related to C comma D and C comma D is related to E comma F. To prove it is transitive, it is like uh, X is related to Y and uh, Y is related to Z. X, Y, Y, Z. We need to prove X, Z. X is related to Z. In the place of X, we have A comma B. In the place of Y, we have C comma D. That is in the place of Y, C comma D and in the place of Z. So one, what we need to prove? R is X is related to Z. That means we need to prove a comma b is related with e comma f. If we prove this, then your relation is transitive. Let us prove this. Now, since these two are related, what happens? A d is equal to b c. We have written. Since these two are related, C F is equal to D E. We have written. Now let us uh, write this as it is and segregate the value of C. C is equal to D E divided by F. D E divided by F. Now what we do is we take the value of C in this equation. Let us take yeah, we have taken here. Now what will happen here? This D and this D will get cancelled. Both sides. Then we will multiply this F. This side. We cross multiply. What happens now? Yeah, first we have cancelled the D. A is equal to B E by F. Now let us cross multiply this. Therefore, A into F is equal to B E. A into F is equal to B E. Now how do we write this related with some other element? This is the first element here and this is the 
second element here, yeah. Now this, this is the second element here and this is the first element here. So what we have arrived at, a comma b is related to e comma f. Yes, we have proved a comma b, this is related with e comma f. Therefore, the relation is transitive. A comma B is related to E comma F. This implies R is transitive on A. We have proved it is reflective. We have proved it is symmetric. And we also have proved it is transitive. So any relation which satisfies reflective, symmetric and transitive is called as equivalence relation. Hence, R is an equivalence relation. So we have solved this problem.